All right, Joe Casey with KC Aviation, and I recently had a listener ask, what apps on your iPhone do you use? Now, number one, I'm using an iPhone, and one of the reasons that I think the iPhone is just phenomenal is because you get ForeFlight. I don't know how anybody does aviation now without ForeFlight. Matter of fact, I have customers that come to me with Androids. I'm all for an Android. I don't care, except for the fact that ForeFlight seems to work so stinking good on an iPhone that it's almost as if you're if you're a pilot, four flight is the way to go. Now, I will tell you, four flight came out and they were just I mean the rage. I mean they just did such a good job. Just they completely shifted the market in aviation, and I'm so proud of them for doing that. They disrupted the market in a huge way, so much so that they gained so much traction, so much business that eventually Boeing bought them. And I was really scared once Boeing bought them that they, this, they were not going to develop and not going to have uh, a lot of updates and changes. But I'll tell you what, I was, I'm was i pleasantly surprised. For Flight, they are upgrading it, making it better and better and better. And I'm very excited about what For Flight's done. Today, I'm telling you, the world of aviation, it's one of the, I would put this in the top five really great advancements in aviation is For Flight, just simply in the, what they allow in terms of data and monitoring as far as you you can go on a flight and pull this up in flight. You can be anywhere in the world and all of a sudden you can get all the data you want. I literally have everything, all my charts, all my maps, all, everything is on my iPhone and I have a backup as well, but gosh, everything's right there. I don't know how people are doing it without ForeFlight, but there's other things beyond ForeFlight. I will even tell you, ForeFlight's not the first place I go to get my weather and data and information. And that's because, I think it's just because um, you tend to do what you've always done. And for me, there's two other sites that I go, that I just use all the time. One is called windy.com. So if I have a flight, the first thing I'm doing is going to Windy, getting a, it's a fabulous site, gives you all the, the weather from at low altitude to high altitude winds to where the clouds are going to be, low clouds, medium clouds, high clouds, uh, tells you where the thunderstorms are going to be. It's just a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful uh, app. And I go to Wendy especially to know what's going on out in the future. Like I'll go five or six days out in the future and get a real good idea. I really like Wendy. Uh, just a wonderful, wonderful place. The other one is I've been using uh, flightplan.com. I'm looking at my, by the way, I've, I've also got all of my, uh, aviation websites into one small area on my phone. So if it's aviation, it goes there. And that's a nice way to to group them on your phone. But I go to flightplan.com a lot. Why? Because I've always gone to flightplan.com for uh, I, I don't know how many years, but I bet I'm 20, maybe 25 years with flightplan.com. Um, and, and now flight, flightplan.com has been bought out by Garmin, which is great because you get some seamless operation between the two. But flightplan.com is where I've is where I've I've become very good at their website. It's where I do all my filing. So I'm not filing with Four Flight, and I'm not uh, I'm not filing with Four Flight, but I'm using flightplan.com. I like it, and I'm good with that. But just I've been doing it for a long time. I also get weather that I know is accurate. Uh, you know, in other words, legal weather to fly with on flightplan.com, and I'm very excited about that. So I do all my filing all my uh, quick check of, of weather for where I'm going with flightplan.com. And I like it just a whole lot. A um, couple other places, there's a website or a, an app called My Radar. And this is my go-to place to pull down uh, a radar image. I'll find this, like if I know there's thunderstorms in my area, I can't use it in flight very well. Uh, you certainly have to be low altitude and, and to get any data. And that doesn't help. But like if I'm on the ground preparing for a flight, I'll use my radar to know what's going on right now with radar. And then another one's called Wonderground. It's Weather Underground. And one of the things I love about Wonderground is the way they present the data to you. It's on a daily basis. And they have listed inside there ways that it can tell you how much precipitation you're going to get and the time it's going to start. It's a really nice way of them presenting that data to you. And it's not good in the sense of telling you exactly what that particular F, uh, particular airport the weather's going to be, but it gives you a good overall snapshot and helps me, uh, without a doubt, get uh, get good data on that particular um, 
on that particular flight. And then one other app's called Aero Weather. Aero Weather will tell you about the weather at a specific airport. It's l- good legal weather. It has both an MOS and it has the, like a TAF and a METAR for a particular airport. Updates very quickly, and I will put most of the major airports or like a regional airport if I know I'm like going to take a North Atlantic trip. Well, I've got the spots along the North Atlantic trip on there as well. So I use those websites just a lot. And of course, Flight uh, Flight Aware is one that I use a lot. I go to Trade a Plane. Without a doubt, Trade a Plane is my very favorite place to be able to advertise and find out what's for sale out in the, out in the world. And those are really... My, those are the apps that I spend the most of my time with. Flight, flightplan.com, uh, Windy, My Radar, Weather Underground, Trade a Plane, and Aero Weather. Those With that right there, there's probably a few other little places I'll go, but that is the meat and potatoes of what I'm doing to prepare for a flight. 